Greetings and salutations, Foo fans out there. Nivens here on the evening of the Foo Fighters at Sprint Center. I'm so fucking excited. First and foremost, so before we begin the weekly rock windup, I want to extend a very happy birthday to Mr. B.B. King, born on this day in 1925. B.B. is one of the great blues masters, and uh, if you want to trace rock and roll, it goes right through B.B. King. That is no doubt about it. So happy birthday to you, sir. Well, the Breaking Benjamin saga continues this week. Chad Selega, the drummer, pretty much out of the, the Benjamin camp, whatever camp is left, and now on board with Black Label Society. This is obviously going to be a great move for him because you're looking at Zach Wilde going, hey, he's sober and awesome, and Ben Burnley is a little out there. So congrats to Chad for uh, picking up the new gig. On October 11th, Judas Priest, The Chosen Few, is going to come out. It's not going to be a new CD, but actually a compilation CD chosen by, oh, guys like Corey Taylor of Slipknot, Stone Sour, Gene Simmons of Kiss, Ozzy Osbourne, James Hetfield, and Lars from Metallica. Basically, all these artists, and there's some big heavy hitters at, at, on top of ones I've mentioned, are teaming up to basically put out what they feel is the best of the Judas Priest stuff, ones that influenced them over the years. So again, that comes out uh, October 11th. Condolences to uh, Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler. This news surfaced the very first part of this week that his father had passed away last Saturday at the age of 95. Well, of course, this week you guys probably know that the Big Four Festival took place at Yankee Stadium up in New York City, the Bronx to be specific. Of course, that is Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax. And one of the Big Four almost didn't make it. Megadeth, Dave Mustaine threw out his back pretty horrendously and literally almost pulled out of it. But took a quarter zone shot, maybe a shot of beer, I don't know. I don't think he drinks anymore. But what we're saying now is, or what they are saying now is that it looks like anything else that Megadeth's going to do is going to get put on hold because Mustaine's going to get some back surgery. So uh, I'm sure he'll bounce back from this, sorry, no pun intended, and uh, get back on the road very, very soon. Oh, Scott Weiland, how you never cease to amaze me. October 4th, we'll get the Scott Weiland Christmas album. Yeah, I get nothing. And of course, on Sunday is Bikers for Babies. You guys know how huge this is and how important it is for the March of Dimes and obviously how much money has been raised from Kansas Cityans alone over the last 16 years. If you haven't registered yet, you can still do so online, or if you want to go ahead and just roll up there on Sunday, 8 a.m., and we'll open up at the Kansas Speedway. I am Nivens. Thank you once again for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Windup. If you're going out to Foo Fighters tonight, I'll see you there. Yeah! I love the Foo Fighters. I'm wearing my Foo Fighters belt buckle. Take a look at that, people. I'm serious about it. <laughs> I'm fucking excited, man. Get off my case.